is recognized as American Heart Month. So joining us today is Dr. Maria Gabriela de Sosa, a family medicine physician with Pro Health Physicians in Wallingford. We're talking about the importance of heart health awareness, especially now during a pandemic, right, Dr. Sosa? Yes, this is a very, very important topic. You know, we are seeing a lot of patients who have been affected by this pandemic. And although primarily coronavirus affects the lungs, the heart really goes along and the muscle of your heart can be inflamed and can be affected. It is heart month, so a lot of people are focusing on what they can do. What do women need to keep in mind specifically? So I think women specifically need to keep in mind that they do not present with the same typical symptoms we've been taught. The left side of chest pain radiating to your left arm. You know, for women, you could have no symptoms at all. You could have just diaphoresis or sweating and nausea. It could, it could present differently. So just to be aware, if you do not feel well, that you seek out the help of your primary care physician. Yeah, and, and, and the symptoms of a actual heart attack are, are very different between men and women. Women can have heart attacks and, and not even know it. I just found this out the other day. My daughter actually told me, she's like, did you know women can have heart attacks and not even know it? That's absolutely right. Your daughter is perfectly in the right mindset. We call it a silent killer as well, because you could have no symptoms. As I mentioned, even just nausea, not feeling well, just sweating. Um, some people think they're having just reflux, heartburn, and then they could be having something far more serious. And then for the men, what specifically do they need to keep in mind and be aware of? So they present a little bit more typical, but then again, you know, heart disease is, is fair game for everyone. Uh, men in general do have a higher um, slight higher risk than women do, but just in general, just making sure if you have met chronic medical conditions, if you have hypertension, if you're over 65, we do know that coronary artery disease is higher the older you get, the higher risk that you have. If you have family history in the family, that's something to keep in mind and making sure that you get, you know, take care of your chronic medical conditions. A lot of people are not choosing not to go to their primary care physicians because they're afraid of getting coronavirus when they go there or even the emergency room. I tell all my patients here at Pro Health, if you do not feel well, you need to seek out medical care. Dr. De Sosa, thank you so much. This is the month to remind yourself, remind your loved ones to see your doctor and also to stay active when you can. Absolutely.